Today's edition of Computer Club Lesson was recorded on April the 17th, 2017. Today we're going to look at uh, the Chrome browser and Microsoft Edge. Hello, welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guys. It's uh, 1 o'clock again and time to start. Uh, today, as any fool can plainly see, I am Jamesless. <laughs> yeah, he uh, wound up with a really bad toothache last night and he had to go to the emergency dentist today. So, yeah. Anyway, so we're James, Jamesless today. Uh, but uh, that uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to... Uh, take another dive into how to search for things uh, on the internet, uh, how, to, how to do searches um, properly, if you have any questions about the searches you are doing and the different kinds of search engines, uh, we'll start in on that today. Uh, so let's start right off um, by, we'll go to uh, the Chrome browser and uh, Google is, is the uh, default search engine for uh, the Chrome browser. You can change it. You can change it to uh, whatever you might have. Uh, we're going to go into settings and uh, down here... I um, can't see it because of the light. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, hang on a second before... I'll, I'll turn this light off. You might be able to see better. How's that? Some better, but it's still bright. Yeah, right there. Okay, that's that's as good as it's going to get, I think. But now, now my my main camera is kind of dark. Let's try this. All right, that's we've done the best we can do. Um, so in the settings in Chrome. Um, there's uh, a box called Manage Search Engines, and if you click on that, it will open up all of the search engines that um, um, that Chrome is now using. And uh, you can see that on this, Google is the default. I have Yahoo in here. I have Bing. Somehow or other, we got Ask in there. Ask is that one we do not want. What you can do to make these go away is just simply hover over it and you can make it the default when it lights up or you can click on the X and it will go away. Uh, Yahoo Quebec, well that's in French so we're going to make that one go away. And uh, the rest of this we can pretty much leave alone. Under other search engines you'll see that I have Amazon, Audible, eBay and Facebook and all of that stuff. Those, um, uh, that is Chrome trying to be helpful. Uh, and it's uh, because I go to these places, Amazon and Audible and Facebook, they have search functions on those sites. So Chrome allows you to um, make a search function in the browser for these sites. Beyond that, I'm not going to do anything about it. Which, Where did you click the first to get that video? Okay. I when I was settings. Yeah. Um, hang on a second. We'll go, we'll go back here. This is what you're looking at. So up in the top right-hand corner, oh, yeah. the three little buttons over there. Okay. Click on them, and uh, then down the page you'll go to settings. Um, so you can also search, uh, set your your main search engine. If you like Bing, why would you? <laughs> you can you can have uh, the Chrome browser use Bing as a search engine. You don't have to log into Bing. What it's doing is it's going to the Bing website 
and searching through their entries. Okay, that's all you're doing when you say use the default search engine Bing. It's just going to go to their site and use their entries for Bing. Uh, but we, we're going to keep Google now. Uh, when I show you what to do with the Edge, I will make sure that's changed back to Bing and Edge and we'll look at it that way. Um, so there you go. There's, there's how you're going to uh, uh, look at the search engine and get it set up in settings to the way you want it. Now, I have set this page in, in, uh, um, in the Chrome browser to go to google.com. I know that, or google.ca, I know that because it's logged into www.google.ca and my account. Um, if, it, if it was going to a blank Google page, google.ca would not be there. Okay, I'm not sure whether I have that fixed up or not. Yes, I, no I don't. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to change it back right now, but it doesn't really matter. You can click on your address bar to start searching for something. Or you can click on the search box, doesn't matter. When you start searching for something, it's going to... Uh, It's going to give you a drop-down indication from the search box, if you're there, of uh, what you're searching for. Search by images, engine optimization, parties, whatever. Um, I just did that to show you that uh, that's, this is uh, Chrome trying to be helpful. Okay. In other words, it's guessing. The next word you want is by image or uh, search history or something like that. It's trying to be helpful. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and if you want to search from the search, uh, from the address bar, you can do that too. <laughs> yeah, and so it has given you um, it has given you some of the things that I search for. I search for in 411 all the time for phone numbers. Um, I search uh, the IT channel uh, TechNet uh, for different things about Windows. And look what it's done. It started to give me search by the Google search, search by image. Okay. It started to fill those in, give me a list of things that I want that I had from here. Okay, that I had from the search box. You can search in the address bar for things. Um, as an example, um, let's do two uh, times two. Okay, solve, um, solve a Rubik's Cube. Um, all different kinds of things about solving two, two times two. Okay. Um, you can go back here. Now, what we've done here is the search box has moved up to the top of the window. Okay, so we can go back to this and um, we can add some things to it. Uh, two times two number. Okay, God's number for two times two cubed. All right. That, that's a real mathematical challenge, and I'm not going to get into it. Um, number combinations and, and such and so forth. Uh, two times two equals four, two plus two equals four. Yes? If you cleaned out your history periodically, would it still give you the things of what you looked for? What it's for? doing is it is going back to your history. Going back, it's finding. Yeah, to, to, to things that you may have searched for before. Okay. okay. Um, so, in the search box, you can do all kinds of things. Um, uh, 
trial as a word. Definition. Definition. Okay. So it's going to give me a definition for the word trial. Or any word in whatever dictionary you want to name. You can get a definition. You can, uh, you can say uh, trial thesaurus. And it will give you the thesaurus entries for the word trial. Or any word you want to name. Um, so there's a way to, uh, to um, search for words. Another thing that you can do is you can, if you're not sure of a spelling, okay, start typing. Yeah, In the search box, you mean, do you mean? <laughs> yeah, it'll either give you do you mean, or the search box will drop down and show you a correct spelling before you get to the place where you're going to mess up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can, uh, spelling is, um, if you're working on a document uh, in, in, uh, in LibreOffice, or maybe your Microsoft Office spell, uh, spell checker doesn't work in, until you say check spelling, okay? This is a good way to keep documents from getting messed up with spelling mistakes. Um, there are many, many other things that you can do with single words and single numbers um, in the search engine for Google. But remember, you've got another search engine here. Okay? And that search engine is YouTube. Okay? So, if you're looking for uh, tutorials and instructions on how to do something, even recipes, okay? Yes, uh, do that word search in Google from the search bar, but also do it in YouTube. Because more likely than not, someone has posted a YouTube video on the thing you're interested in. Okay. I, uh, I have a weed eater that won't run. I think I've mentioned this before. And um, all I did was just enter the word weed eater. And it gave me a uh, weed eater won't start won't start and it's given me all kinds of videos on how to get my weed eater to start what I have to do how to pull it apart how not to lose the parts <laughs> okay there's something in there for everybody this little video right here uh, the easy carburetor fix is what I need to do to it to make it work right. That gives me an idea. Yeah. But there are there are a thousand other things that you can think of just right off the top of your head that there is a video there for it. Years ago um, when we somebody asked about news groups okay are news groups still available? Yes they are from Usenet. Uh, they are very difficult to use but uh, use groups uh, here again um, someone was interested in the thing you were interested in. Someone had run into the same problem that you have and had posted a fix or uh, uh, posted uh, a discussion on how to fix your problem or what to look for, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I had a 1988 Jeep Wagoneer. And that thing was the bane of my life because uh, it had electrical problems all over the place. Every time I turned around, something wasn't working that was electrical. Uh, I went looking on um, the news groups for uh, 1988 Jeep uh, electrical, and 
lo and behold, about 20 or 30 discussions popped up and every single one of them said, you have to do this to fix the problem. Took me about an hour of following their instructions, fix the problem. Okay, that was 20 years ago. Fast forward today, YouTube. The modern way to do it. Um, I asked somebody how to fix my computer. Jim might to say what exactly, but the answers I got, lots of them, very helpful, nice people, and I couldn't understand the word they were saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes um, the the solutions that you'll get uh, for YouTube videos and such um, are not for your consumption. They are for uh, technologists' yeah. consumption. Or okay, or grandchildren, or whatever you may be doing. Uh, it's for their consumption. Um, James is a great one for that. He goes diving into things on how to alter the games that he plays, so that he can have more, more fun with the game. To alter the code inside the game. He's a great one for that. Um, okay, so now we're, we're back to, uh, to uh, looking at uh, Google search as, as text. Um, there, there are other things that we can look at here. Um, if we uh, click on these, these nine little boxes again, uh, from Google, you've, you've got news, okay? And you can search news, by the way. If, um, if someone said to you, do you remember that story from a couple of weeks, about, weeks ago about so-and-so? Well, you can put in so-and-so's name in the, in, in the news search and uh, go back a couple of weeks. You'll probably find it. It's there. So let's click on news. And when you search here, uh, you are searching through news items. Not just, you're not searching uh, entries for uh, the Google search engine, you're searching entries for news. Okay, uh, and this, this can be uh, really, really helpful um, if you're doing, um, if you've heard about something. And remember I talked about fake news uh, a month or so ago, okay? This is another place where you can understand the news that you're getting, either on television, reading the newspaper, or online. Don't just take the author's word for that article. Go looking in other places. If something seems a little funky about what you're reading, go looking further for explanations or somebody, uh, or um, it may, the, the story you're looking at may be coming from obscure websites. Okay, that's a tip off that the news you're looking at is probably fake news. Um, so look, searching through news, for news is a great thing to do. Um, there's other things you can search for. Um, you can bring up Google Maps and you can search in Google Maps um, for um, any address on the planet, really. And in most cases, in most cases, you can get an overhead shot of where you are. If I knew this address, I could enter the address. I'm going to put my own address in. Um, yeah. Okay, so so now it's it's shown it's showing you where I live yeah. at 79 Darlington Drive, but if you're not quite sure about what you're looking at, okay, the street view, that's across the road from my house. I know that. So I can turn it around 
and there's my house there's my car I don't know when this picture was taken uh, oh yeah July 2015 so it's two years old when my car was sitting in the driveway okay. no uh, but uh, it's in the summertime because I've got flowers there in my on my lawn uh, and so if you want to spy on a neighbor you want to see if he's got a pool in his backyard okay this is how you do it but it's also great for if you're if you're going to uh, an address someone has given you and you're not sure about the directions yes you can follow your directions from a Google map you can print but it will also you can also print out what the house looks like so that you know that when you've gotten there. <laughs> yes, I got that. It says you are your destination. Yeah. Exactly so. Exactly so. <laughs> okay. So now this um, this is Google in the Chrome browser. Okay, this is Google in the, in the Chrome browser. Let's jump out of that for a second. Uh, we'll close out of this. And I'm going to go to, there we go, uh, to the Edge browser. Okay, now it's given me some stuff here. Um, am I logged into this? I don't think I am. It would give me more if I was logged into MSN.com. It would give me a lot more. That's pretty much MSN. Yeah. I look so sensational, like as if it's, uh, you know, I would always say, is this fake news I'm looking at? You know, when yeah. I see all yeah. these little talk, Yeah. You know, yeah. Really yeah. So it's, it's giving me a lot of information here. And, uh, oops. <laughs> oops. Oh, there we are. <laughs> it went to Flipboard. Um, I am going to I'm going to go to settings and uh, I'm going to see if I can change my default um, It took me a long time to find this, all of this stuff in here and change it the way I wanted it. And now I've never changed it back. But what I can do is I can, I can in, in the settings, I can tell this to start looking at Bing as the default search engine. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I can do is I can go up here and I can click on the address bar and do bing.com. Okay, and it's going to start allowing me to search through Bing, but because I've set this up as uh, to get the results from Google and not Bing, it will give me all the results from Google and not Bing. All right, so you have to go into the search engine and tell it that the default search engine you want to use is Bing, if that's what you want to use. Okay. Um, there's all kinds of things down through here. Um, this is just a quick run through of stuff on the page. Uh, there's about 20 entries there. Um, now I'm going to I'm going to uh, put in that word trial again, okay? And it's given me. Trail. Did I put trail? Yes, you did. <laughs> I will have to fix that. Try out. Okay. And you will notice that it didn't give me anywhere near the kinds of things that 
uh, Google gave me in, in that particular order. Yes, it gave me a definition, okay, a pronunciation and all of that. But uh, it gave me a Wikipedia entry, a definition uh, from a free dictionary, and so forth, so forth and so on. Um, so you can see that the results are a little different. Um, what it will do is the first few results that it gives you will be um, regarding advertising. Okay? And somewhere or other they'll stick that word in there for the advertising. Um, be very, very, very careful about clicking on these first few entries that appear to be what you want but are in fact advertising. It says so right there, ad from domo.com. Um, I'm not going to click on it because I know that there is a chance that it will do something, do something bad. It will pop up a web page, lock the computer and say, please call us immediately <laughs> at this number because your computer is infected and our representatives will be glad to help you clear the infection from your computer. Do not shut your computer off. We will wipe it. <laughs> okay? You'll get those kinds of things because they are embedded in these ads and they're all over the place. Even in, in, uh, in Google results, if you click on something that says add, the chances are good you will get one of those things. It will pop up and essentially lock your computer. If that should happen, if that should happen, here's what you can do immediately to see if you can fix it. Right click on your task bar and click on task manager and then end the task okay 80 times out of 100 it will end the task and you can continue on with what you were doing 80 times out of 100 there are 20 times out of 100 where you won't be able to close from end task. So that means that you're going to have to do a hard shutdown by holding down the power button. That will work. It's not great for your computer, so do this first. But that's the way to get out of it. Um, if you can divine that what's happened is a, a web page has opened and locked your computer with a web page, then Almost certainly, um, once you get that web page closed and do a restart um, and get back to where you were, your computer is okay. Nothing got in. It's just tried to trick you to get your money. Okay? It just tried to trick you. So, um, but if you want to, um, you can. Do ADW cleaner and you get ADW cleaner from uh, ToolsLib and download it and run it. We've talked about this, it's part of Malwarebytes now. All right. I have trouble getting that one in for some reason. Yeah. It, doesn't, it would start and then stop, like freeze as if. I don't want to go on your computer, lady. You know, I don't know why. I've got that. And may, yeah, it may be better now. Oh! oh now that you've updated, again. try it again. Try it again. Yeah. Is it A? ADW Cleaner. ADW yeah. Cleaner. Yeah. I'll try it again then. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to hurt anything. No. If it's going it to work. Just, it goes so far into the, yeah. into the setup and then boom, it just stops. Yeah. Now, um, in Windows 10 uh, and Windows 7, this, the ADW, excuse me, ADW Cleaner is going to uh, download to the downloads folder in your user in your user folders, and uh, by default that's where it's going to go. So you can either you can either uh, make it uh, run it from here, the bottom left, uh, in your browser it will show you that it downloaded this. Just click on it, it will bring it up, or you can close out all of this, go to the downloads folder, and run it from there.
doesn't interfere with Windows Defender? No, no. no. Um, one of these days I'll explain that all again. <laughs> <laughs> because I did about a month ago, I explained um, ADW Cleaner and why it works so well. Um, that it's a standalone item. Okay. Um, now, look what happened here. I've got my uh, my Edge browser set to go to Google when I uh, hit the home button. So now if I want to go back to Bing, I have to type it in. Um, but that, there, in, uh, there is uh, um, the Edge browser uh, in, in Google and Bing. Um, here again, you can change things uh, by going to these uh, three buttons up on the top right. Click on that and go to settings. And um, if, your, if your Edge browser uh, is, is becoming punky and crazy, okay, you can reset it as you can with Internet Explorer 11 by going to the, the, your, your internet settings and control panel and uh, go to the internet settings there and, and use the advanced tab and you can reset it. You can do the same thing in, um, in Edge by clearing everything. Okay? By clearing everything. Um, and so you can clear your browsing history, cookies and, and cache data, but you can clear even more and so if something is, is uh, it has sort of grabbed a hold of the Edge browser and won't let you do some of the things that you think you should be able to do, uh, clearing all of these settings um, is a good way to get your settings back to where they need to be. So, so you're saying that in Edge we can put Google now? Yes, you always could. Oh, I thought you couldn't. If you, want. Yeah. If you uh, go to settings, um, and under uh, Open Microsoft Edge with, okay, you can click on that down arrow, and you can put in a specific web page. All right. When you do that, you have to make a couple of more um, uh, a couple of more changes. But you want to enter the URL you want here, and then um, you open new tabs with either a blank page or this URL. But you can do that. I think the very first when they first put it, you couldn't change that. Yeah, it was tough. It was oh, a I tough go. Yeah. yeah. And then every time when I open Google, you can see the Bing thing coming. Yeah. If you went to Cortana, it goes to Bing. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So um, they have allowed you to make some changes. some changes there. Uh, too many people were crying and complaining. Yes, a lot of people I know were complaining. About yep. Um, so there we go. There is uh, at the Edge browser and um, the Chrome browser. Uh, I'm just going to launch uh, Internet Explorer 11. And we know that it's 11 because uh, when we go to Tools and we go to, uh, blah, 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 where is it? Oh, Help, sorry. You go to Help and About Internet Explorer and it will show you that it's Explorer 11. Okay. And if there is an update, uh, it will install it automatically. Someday it's going to go to 12, but probably not for a while uh, because uh, Microsoft wants you to use Edge. So we'll get rid of that. Close all those tabs. Yes, yes, yes. Any questions? I've got a question, but it's about the... Uh the Windows uh, Shield. Before when I did malware, it, it used to put the shield on there for uh, Windows. Now You're talking about 
Yeah. This little shield that little down shield, here. But it used to be that's yellow and blue. Yeah. Yellow and blue. Yeah. That's. Uh, the other yeah. The other that's the new icon for Windows Defender. So okay. it's not going to go actually on the little So when I, say op when I say right click and say open, yeah. there's Windows Defender yeah. as you know it. Yeah. Okay. Before it used to be on the other icons. Yeah. No, yeah. It's yeah, it changes things around. Yeah. <laughs> changes. It's, you know, I don't know why they try and be helpful like this. Yeah, you know, it's it drives you crazy. I thought yeah. I did something wrong, yeah. and I thought yeah. I'd better act because maybe I'm not covered by awake. all that. I mean, it's to keep us going and awake. Like, well, know, maybe yes, maybe no. Someday these things will never change. I have a question about Mozilla. Okay, I have Mozilla. I can't seem to get my contact list off of source cable. Oh, yeah. We talked about this, didn't we? No, I don't. I wasn't here, sorry. <laughs> is, it on, is it on the video? Uh, how to get your contact list yeah. out of uh, source cable? Out of source cable. Web, out of the and and uh, and what do you want to have the the contact well, list in? Send emails through Mozilla rather than. Oh, okay. Network. All right. Um, I have to switch yes. back now to source cables. Yeah. Mail. Okay, so here's Thunderbird Mail. We're going to launch this up. Um, I still have this going here. Um, the first thing you have to do is get them out of source cable. Okay? Yes. Now, uh, you can go into so, uh, source cable from the internet. And um, export. You want to export your address book. Okay. And you want to export that address book in a very particular way. You want to export it as a com uh, comma separated value. And what that means is that the name, the title, the suffix, nickname, given name, blah, 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 is all separated by commas. Okay? But that's not the way we're going to look at it. What we're going to, the way we're going to look at it is we're going to open it with a, with a different program to see even more about it. We're going to open it with a, an Excel spreadsheet. Okay. And so here is my address book with first name, last name, all of that. It's been exported from the web in a comma separated value, CSV. And that's the way that you will import it into. Uh, where are we here? Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Yeah. Here we go. I can never find the damn thing. That's the way we're, we're going to go to our address book. And then under tools, we're going to import. Okay. Uh, the address book. You tell it it's your address book and the next. And then you're going to click on the kind of text file it is. In this case, it's a CSV, okay, comma separated value. You'll click on that and go through the process of next and whatever. And it will, it should um, enter your contacts into the address book in Thunderbird Mail. Now, here's a thing that. Um, I found out that we were doing this in front of the class and oops and um, where to go collected addresses all addresses hmm maybe I did make it go away um, under view, 
if this doesn't look right, you need to go to view and you need to uh, sort the name. It will, the default will be by the display name. Okay. You want to do last name first. And then this uh, should all This should all be last name first. Okay, I'm not going to do it right now because it, it takes a little while to do. But that's the procedure. It's on our last video about Thunderbird Mail. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, that gets us out of that. Um, anything else? Uh, would you just go on the proper? Adobe site to show me in case I ever have to put Adobe in the machine. Just just tell me which one. I, I got confused when I was searching. Okay. Let's, uh, let's search um, from Google. So um, now there's different things that you can get. I know. Okay. So if you just want Adobe Reader, you do Adobe Reader. Right. Okay. And if you... Um, that was first. Yeah. So you know you're on the right website. Number one, it's not an ad. <coughs> and it's getadobe.com reader. Anything else? Don't go there. Don't touch it. It's yes. usually the first one. Okay. Let's go back and do Flash. There, that was okay. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, Adobe Flash, get Adobe.com Flash Player. Yes. If it doesn't say that, you're in the wrong spot. Don't touch it. All right. Just for the sake of argument, let's go there. Well, it wants to run Flash, so we'll do it. We'll let it run. Okay. Oh, there's the one we have to do. We unclick back and forth. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that when you get the Flash Player, these optional offers, Are you don't right. want them. Yeah. Uncheck them. And then you can do an install now yeah. and go through the procedure. Does, does a plugin come with this? With this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The, the plugin should, um, should come. Uh, if you're using um, Firefox, um, by downloading Adobe Flash Player, you are in fact downloading the plugin for Firefox. That's part of it. Okay. okay? Yeah. It's part of it. It should work just fine as a plugin for that. Okay, that's just in case, yeah. but I, I think I mentioned that Microsoft updated everything on their Flash. So yeah. I won't, just in case, though, so I need it. Okay, that's so that's right. Yeah. That's the right one. Alright, thank you. Um, and here again. The words you're looking for are getadobe.com. Okay, anything else? Don't touch it. Uh, by the way, if you're on a website, uh, maybe a gaming website, maybe not, and uh, a window about half the size of this web page opens up and says you have to get an update of Adobe Flash Player, don't touch it. It's a trick to take over your computer. Don't touch it. Oh, well, it's the same if you go onto a game and it says you need a flash player. Click here to do it. Well, no, I don't. No, do don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, if, it, it's, if it's legit and you don't have flash player in, go to the web, Adobe website as I have just done yeah. and get your flash player there. The other thing that uh, the computer will do if it needs to update Flash or, or Adobe Reader or any other product is down in the lower right, it will put an icon in there that's either the flat little Flash icon or the Adobe icon. When you right click on it and open it, it will tell you you can download and install the player or the reader. What's okay. the difference between the player and the reader? Do you need them both? Um, yeah, the the Adobe Reader 
uh, it is for an Adobe Portable Document Format File, PDF. Okay, and PDF is a very old, old, old um, file format for uh, preparing documents to be put on the internet so that the, uh, the, the document can't be changed by the person looking at it or downloading it. You need an expensive program to do that. Um, but it's just for reading those PDF documents in that very old format. Flash player is for games or for videos on an old uh, on an older system. Um, if you even if you see this right here, this icon, uh, and it pops up somewhere in the in the page, it says you need to update. Don't touch it. Go back to Adobe from. Uh, from Internet Explorer or, or Edge or wherever and go directly to Adobe. Don't go through this third-party website because that's what you're doing. You're going through a third-party website um, and you can get all kinds of grief from that. Okay. But the same things like for in Chrome now, the extensions. Okay. Just the one, and then the one was for the Adobe Reader, so I did it. I added it to mine. Yeah, you can do that. In Google. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go to extensions. So we'll we'll go to um, up in the top right corner to the uh, to the uh, three little buttons up there, and we'll go to uh, settings. If you click on settings, over on the left, you will see the entry for extensions. If you click on that, it will show you what kinds of extensions you have. Okay. Now, I've incorporated in, uh, Adobe Acrobat into the extensions of this so that I can read PDFs on the web page and I can print them from the web page. There's a section there that says options on that. Yeah. And I didn't know whether to click that or not, so I just left that alone. Yeah, just leave it alone. Um, and see. well, if if we click on, if if we touch it, um, allow Adobe Acrobat for Chrome to send anonymous usage information to Adobe. Ah, no, you don't want to do that. You don't want knowing what you're up to. But I put this in just simply because, so that it's easier for me to print from Chrome um, an Adobe document. I get all my bills over the web as Adobe the, documents. Yeah. Take it because I didn't know, yeah. So I didn't well, know. you can uh, you can search for an extension yeah, if if you know. want to, and um, and you can. Oops. Yeah. Get more extensions, and you can search That's where I for yeah for extensions. Um, for Chrome, um, don't go nuts with extensions. No, no, they are ni they're nice to haves, but boy, they can mess you up. Yeah, don't go, the don't go nuts with them. Yeah, that, yeah. 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 And, and if you, it's always good to come in here and check once in a while uh, what extensions you do have because they can sneak in. Okay, they can sneak in from other websites that you may have visited. So it's simple to get rid of them. Just uh, click on the trash can and they're gone. If you've got an extension, you don't know what it is, and it's not really telling you what it is, make it go away. If you want it back, you can always go and get it. Okay, so there's uh, extensions. Uh, anything else about uh, searching for things? Uh, Never hear you talk about Java. Java. Okay, Java is still uh, a big part of how the internet works. Um, it's a big part of how uh, websites are set up that have what we call big data. That there's lots of data that you can get at, and so Java as 
um, as an, and it is an operating system working on top of the operating system you have um, to manipulate data on the internet. Okay, um, and a lot of times that has to do with gaming. Yeah, you can't have Pogo without Java because uh, because of the way Pogo works, the and how its internet pages are set up, it needs all of this information from uh, from its own servers to show you how to play the game or what the game will look like, and it does that through Java. Okay, um, always make sure that you've got the latest um, uh, the latest iteration of Java. It, it seems it seems to come up automatically. Though. Yeah. Java yeah. Um, so you can enter Java and you're now go oracle.com it's an ad. Eh. I wouldn't touch just because ad servers are have been compromised. Um, you can go here to java.com, java for you, java.com and get it there. Um, you can down, it says here, download free Java software. Okay, so you're getting it from java.com. Always look up here, okay, in the download, and it's going to give you the latest version. Um, here again, with the Java download, make sure that you're not allowing it to load other stuff, because Java's bad for that too. It's, it will give you a, we've noticed that you like this, we know you'll love that. And so it gives you 25 of them. So there we go, we're pretty much uh, looked at looking for stuff and how you look for stuff. Any questions about looking for stuff that we need to know about? looking for stuff. Um, if not, any other questions from stuff we've done over the last couple of weeks? Is it possible that the problems I'm having is source cable being cheap? <laughs> I'm telling you, it goes slow. Mine goes slow. Oh, it it's not go slow, it stops. What I don't get is I'm playing cards on Pogo. I updated Java and I updated everything else yeah. through the sites. The cards stop, but all the stuff that they put in the background, you know, flowing there, keeps, keeps moving. Keeps Butterflies going. Butterflies flying around. Yeah. The cards won't move. Um, what happens if you refresh the page? Do you know how to do that? No. Okay. <laughs> You have a button on your computer, on your keyboard, called F5. F five. Yeah, it's a, it's the buttons are across the very top of the computer. Okay, the function keys, and you have one called F five. F five is a refresher for everything that you might have open. Okay, so if you press F five, look what it did. It, now watch carefully. Up here. Oops. Watch carefully. It's going to reload the page. Boom. Okay? It doesn't look like it did, but it did. That's all things move. Yeah. Does that start the game again and just it refresh it if the game is stuck in um in the browser, by refreshing the browser it may get the game to run again. What it does is it essentially reloads the game from the point where you were. Okay, so F5 is the thing to do. Try that. Um, I am, I'm going to press this F5 again now that I'm on the news page and see how long it takes to reload it. See, it reloaded the whole page. Yeah. And it also, yeah. even before I'm on the web, the games that came with the computer, they just vanish. Yeah. They just go away. Yeah. Okay, so um, that's a, a uh, 
F5 is is a refresh. Um, yeah, that that's a way to get things going again if they have stopped. It's really the same thing as closing the web page and opening it again at exactly the place you left. That's what it's doing. You know what they're doing now with some games is they're they're stopping. You're you're moving along and you're going from this screen to the next one up. They put an ad in the middle. You yeah. gotta wait for the dumb ad to finish before yeah. you can go <laughs> to your next level. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you can pay. Skip. Hey, I pay. Yeah, $39 a year, yeah, yeah. Here, and no ads, no nothing. Does that work? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No ads at all, but $39 a year, I figure I'm worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, if, if that's what you love to do, that's what yeah. you love to do. At two and three and four in the morning, there ain't much else to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're pretty, much, we're pretty much through the hour, folks. Um, I will get this up as quickly as I can, and I will see you in two weeks, and I'll send you an email as a reminder. All right, thank you so much. That's Computer Club lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.